Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you a neat little utility, the reliability monitor in Windows 10 and 11. It's often forgotten. It's very, very cool. And it can help you find problems with your computers. And whether it's software, Windows Update, hardware, it might be able to figure out hardware and software problems for you with a little bit of work. Not too hard to do. Let's start by opening the control panel. That's the Windows key plus S. Start typing in control until you see control panel and click here, here, or here. If you see this view, it's known as the control panel category view. Click on large or small icons. And once you're there, scroll down and click on security and maintenance. Expand maintenance. And just click on view reliability history right here. So what you're looking for from the top down real quick, days and weeks. I would leave days because it usually covers two to three weeks and that should help you find the problem. And what you can do is you can look for all these different things here. Now there's five categories, application failures, it's your apps, Windows failures, Windows problems, miscellaneous failures, anything that doesn't fit into those two categories, warnings, and information. So for example, if you click anywhere, you'll notice it lights up the whole row. So you're going to get it all in one shot. So let's pick the one that has two errors right here. And you can see down here below, it shows you all of them. You can expand the window as far as you need to or scroll right here. Typically, the blue lines, the blue information ones here, are almost always Windows updates. As you can see, it was successful. It's installed kind of could live without it but that's okay it's still a very cool utility to have here's a problem right here let's see what we got now you can't quite make it all out you can click right here where it says view technical what's it say view technical details or just double click anywhere this is where we're going to find the problem now for example you're looking for an error code you're not going to know what it is unless you're an encyclopedia and an encyclopedia who works at Microsoft. So you just want this bit right here up until you see the colon there. So copy that, pop a new tab. This is just one way to troubleshoot a problem. E-R-R-O-R, -R -R, type, type it or paste it in, and guess what? When updating an Xbox Game Pass on a Windows 10 device, click retry. So that would tell me, in this case, I would probably go over to Windows Update and look for failed updates and see if I can fix it. That would get rid of that problem. And like I said, you can find stuff in here, problems you don't know you have. They're sitting in your Windows machine running on a regular basis and you don't even know it. So if you're a little, get a little OCD like me and you're like, I need to know if there's a problem, even though I don't know there's a problem. Reliability monitor, baby. So there you go. So let's bring this down a little bit, show you some other stuff. Down here, you can save the reliability history. It is in XML format. That's the only thing you can save it in. But once again, if troubleshooting and you needed to save it or send it to somebody, it's handy. And you can also clear out the history. So let's say you found the problem. You want to clear it out. Click on View All Problem Reports right here. And I already cleared it out. I was playing around. Sometimes I do these videos two, three times so that I get them quote unquote right. So I'd already cleared it out, which is great. But you click Clear All Problem Reports right here, if they're showing up here. And you click OK. Click the X, and you're out of here. So as you can see, it's a really neat utility. One of the many reasons some of us geeks don't like to see the control panel keep getting hidden away on Windows 11 and Windows 10, because apps like this are invaluable for troubleshooting problems. Really great. So maybe you've never seen it before. Maybe you forgot about it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of forgot about it. So I've been having fun with it on my main desktop. Looking for a little, see the difference. My desktop gets a few more errors. Not many. But it'll vary from machine to machine. How many things you have installed, etc., etc. And there you have it. That's how you can view your reliability history in Windows 10 and 11. Solve problems. Make things better. Save the world. All that stuff. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.